everyone this is priya again on feathers and ferns and you all are welcome on my channel so today i have a very special journal to share with you all um so i have a story that i i made a story uh, behind this journal uh, like a concept behind this journal and as the story will go as it will unfold every element of this journal will get clear so the story the name of this story is blessing the samurai returns so the story goes as uh, years years ago there was a samurai and he was on a very senior on a very high position uh, and um, because of his higher position because of his seniority because of all the powers that were given to him uh, being a samurai he he abused his power he abused his powers he did a lot of things that he shouldn't have done because he had that kind of power and he did a lot of wrong things he got drifted away from his family because of that and years ago when he was in that state after some years he realized that that is not the life he he wants for himself and he thought of coming back to his family coming back to his uh his wife and children and he he took a path of spirituality now when he came back he he was always haunted by his uh his past he had vivid memories of his past and his wife made him a uh, made him a journal where he could write all about his journey all about his past and all the all the things about future and what they want to do now and now that he is coming towards spirituality now he he wants a different life for himself he completely gave up um violence he gave up on his past life and he and his wife both of them they started farming for flowers so that is <laughs> the story that i constructed behind this journal so now uh i'm i'm uh, flipping pages through while i'm say, while i said the story i flipped the pages while i said the story so now what does each element here means so i'm each page has uh i have each page if you can see they are a collage to pages each each one each page has two different uh pattern pages one is vivid and darker in color that represents his past which is vivid which he still remembers it he doesn't want to remember it but he still remembers it now and then and that past comes as vivid thoughts and then i added papers which are more brighter and with the, so these brighter pages represents his brighter future a brighter present that he is trying to make with his wife and family so these pages represent his vivid past and these pages darker ones represent his um present and future so these pages these darker ones these are i took these pages these are these pages the beautiful pages i got from um uh, pm artist studio i will put the link to their shop in the description box below they have some extremely extremely beautiful pages and then each on each page i did uh, i prepared each page using uh, a technique where i did a lot of tea dyeing in multiple steps and then i did use metallic colors in gold and in this metallic light blue if you can see it through it's very metallic and shiny it's not really visible through the uh, through the camera that well so i try to create this uh, these pages uh, in a very vintage way and then also i wanted to speak about the cover so the cover is uh, because this journal is for a male 
it's a custom order and it is for a man so and as i told you the story is about that a samurai returns and i told you that his wife made him a journal to where he could write all about his uh, life so um she made him a journal cover which so the cover represents so this uh, golden background is is the vivid uh past because it's not very clear here i tried to make it distressed so it's like he still has images it's all hazy and these uh pieces of these are some pieces of fabric i collaged some fabric so his wife made him a journal and she uh put a few pieces of few strips of fabric and these fabrics belong to her kimono and this kimono was this this was the kimono when she, this she was wearing this kimono when they had first seen each other so she just put strips of this kimono here so as to remind him of the beautiful past they had shared together and it also is a representation that they can have a beautiful future as well respective of all the bad things that had happened and i put this uh, beautiful uh, uh paper here here and uh, here on the on the back sides of both front and back cover and this paper represents it is a uh, it is a uh, it has a darker background and on the top they are these pretty flowers and these flowers represent that irrespective of or in despite of the dark past there still can be flowers there still can be happiness and because the because this husband and wife are growing flowers now they have started farming for flowers so these flowers also represent what they are doing presently and they have left behind the darker past behind them so this is the whole idea of this journal and uh, so i'm not flipping through each page though each page has done in the same way with a uh, two pattern papers uh, in contrast representing past and uh, future and then each page has been beautifully painted in uh, in a uh, metallic gold and in metallic blue and then i also uh, did sewing throughout the journal in blue and gold so each page is also sewn to uh, define a define a a border for each page and in the middle of signature there are these beautiful pattern papers each page has this japanese style pattern paper in the middle and in total there are around 200 pages almost 180 200 pages and um there are five signatures there are five signatures and this journal has i did uh, hidden spine and then i added a lot of these vellum papers these papers are vellum papers are also uh, tea dyed and then painted beautifully so this is about this journal and there is a lot of writing space here um and i also wanted to speak about this image so i hand painted this image and this image represents uh because this husband and wife are now uh doing farming for flowers so this image represents the like it's a plant so that is the whole idea and because this journal is for a male so i did not put a lot of uh fabric and lace and that stuff i try to keep it a bit minimalistic because it is it is for a male this is a custom order for a male and then i quickly also wanted to talk about the bag so i also made a little bag and this journal comes with this bag so i this is a linen fabric for the bag and i tried to distress it using 
uh, using tea and then I put a few patches of the same fabric that I have used on the cover these uh, Japanese kimono fabric so I used these few uh, pieces of this fabric here and there on the cover uh, on this bag and then I also did this um, Japanese style uh, uh, hand stitching just to give it a very authentic uh, authentic kind of look and because I also wanted to create an impression that his wife made it for him and she sat down and she she stitched this bag all by hand so it also that's why I didn't do it in a very uh, in a very precise or in a very symmetrical manner because this is hand stitched from whatever she had at home so she tried to make it uh, using that so guys this is this is the journal and uh, I hope you like it and this is a custom order and I hope she also likes it it took me some time to make this journal because it, it was a bit uh, challenging to make a journal for a male so and I, I named this journal blessing because despite everything despite all the hardships and all the bad experiences of the past life is still a blessing so uh, that is what I wanted to um, uh, show through this story of this journal so I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through and I will see you very soon again with another video and thank you so much guys for being here on my channel if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel give a thumbs up to my videos and i will see you guys very soon with another video thank you so much bye bye